This video will replace the burnt stator and will take part in the shooting of a cool music video. Hi folks, I'm Custom Chess for Roma Custom Bike and I'm very happy to get back to the roots of the show with a nice home shop episode. We replaced the burnt stator on my 1991 Softail. Another good reason to be quite happy is that the crew of Roma Custom Bike has been featured in the latest music video of Roman rock band Lemura called Super Cherry, now available on iTunes by following the links in the description. We'll take you behind the scene to meet the beautiful Vampire Strippers lead characters of the video. <laughs> Another big news is that I'm separating the Italian from the English channel, um, because YouTube is not really equipped at the moment to tailor a multi-language channel. So, in the next few months we will be moving the English videos to the new channel called Custom Bike. I invite all of you guys to please subscribe to it by clicking here, 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 <laughs> or the link in the description. But let's get back to the project. As we shot this footage, uh, I was still wearing a cast from my tearing of the Achilles tendon last summer. So I asked Jacek, a new member of the team, to give me a hand. So we started working and we got Polsky Rage Blessing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a basic test that anyone can do to assess if the stator is working properly is to connect the two terminals of a standard voltometer set on alternate current to the plug on the front of the engine. With the bike running you should be reading a voltage in the range of whatever is specified on the shop manual, in my case between 16 and 20 volts at 1000 rpm. An out of range reading means that something is wrong, and as you can see, mine is properly dead. <laughs> we began by purging the oil so that we can let it drip while we take all things apart that block the access to the primary cover, such as the footboard or the shift pack. It's now time to take the primary transmission cover out. Although we let it drain for a while, as you can see we made a mess on the floor, so that's why it's a good idea to do this outside. Now all that's left is everything, <laughs> and if you can name that quote, leave it in the comments and let's use right here, huh? <laughs> Once open, we have to remove the compensating sprocket to access the stator and to do so we start by loosening the chain's adjusting shoe. Now comes the fun part. To remove the compensating sprocket you can either buy the appropriate tool or make do with whatever you got. I use the ratchet extension to lock together the two sprockets to allow for the bolt to be unscrewed. And this ain't gonna be easy. So before we do that, let's get back to the music video that I mentioned previously. All the music you have heard in this episode is by the band Lemura. And all the team of Roma Custom Bike is featured in their latest single, Super Cherry. My very good friend Luna is the director of this project and she decided that we would be perfect for it dei veri centauri per questo video perché è tutta un'atmosfera uh, un po' tarantiniana ed è tutto quanto una citazione di Dal tramonto all'alba di Rodriguez per fortuna sono grande amica di Custom Chess quindi mi sono rivolta immediatamente a lui che è venuto con il suo team e sono stati strepitosi non potevo veramente desiderare di meglio si sono sacrificati 
per, per il video e in più ho avuto l'opportunità di uh, riprendere le loro fantastiche moto tra l'altro tutta la scena iniziale è girata proprio all'interno dell'officina di Custom Chess You can imagine how happy we were when we were told that it involves stripper vampires that are gonna do with us whatever they want. So, with Polsky Rage, Jacek and Sergio, we arrived on set, ready for battle and to give the best performances of our lives. Our beautiful acting partners, professional actresses, were awesome to help us get comfortable in the scene, especially for those of us not in the business. Thank you girl, you were fantastic. But before taking a look at some more of the shots from the video, let's get back to work and try to get this job done. So, once we locked the sprockets in place, we began trying to extract the bolt. Obviously, with the right tools, it would have been much easier, but this is Roma Custom Bike, and we make it work with whatever we got. Even Polsky came to help, especially because with my foot still out of order, I'm not much help in this type of tasks. In the end, using a plumbing wrench, we managed to get it loose, so I could finally remove the compensating sprocket, the chain and the rest of the rotor. The stator is under this magnetic dome, the rotor. To remove it, you can either use the specific tool, or like I did, you can find an alternative. Grab through the holes and pull. From an initial inspection to the rotor, it seems okay. No cracks or sign of particular wear. And finally, the hidden treasure, the stator. From first glance, it's obvious that a big group of windings is totally baked. The replacement is pretty basic. Remove the screws. And slide the plug from the crankcase. Here is the brand new stator. As you can see, it looks pretty different. At this point, some of you that have a lot of accessories on the bike might choose to install a more powerful than stock stator that, generating a higher number of ampere, it will provide more energy if needed. Sliding the plug back in place was a bit of a pain. We coated it with engine oil and pushed it in. And by we, I mean Jacek pushed it in. <laughs> Remember to put everything back like you found it, like the cable holder in the back of the stator itself.
After double checking all the screws and inserting the rotor, it's time to reinstall the compensating sprocket. And the chain. Hopefully, this will be a little bit easier than when we took it off. Chrysler se ne andava più veloce dei pensieri I miei 106 cavalli, una mandria di destieri Arrivamo al Betty Ford nella fossa dei leoni C'era il Duca con i suoi, fece un cenno tutti fuori Il bigliacco era nascosto dietro l'ultimo bancone Preparava un volo di Mary, uno sguardo da sbruffone Voi sapete alla violenza, preferisco la parola Ma trattandosi d'amore, spiega meglio la pistola to see the bike running right away but you know father is dead of course Murphy's law <laughs> after a quick transplant from Jacek bike there it goes <laughs> Tu lo sai che quando accendo il furore di una donna ho bisogno di affogare anche il ricordo della noia. Fui presto mi deride. Pretty cool watching it running without the cover. And now before finishing up, I think it's time to take another peek at the set of Super Cherry, the new single available on iTunes from la band Le Mura. Poggia la birra. Pistole. Giulia di scatto My very dear friend and super awesome director Luna decided to make a From Dust Till Dawn style music video. And she figured, what better people to cast for the Vampire Strippers dinner if not yours truly and his friends from Roma Custom Bike. I came from an actor's family, so I'm quite used to this. But I have to say that the guys really, really impressed me. Girati. They're not actors, yet they were very very good in taking the director's input and giving a very nice performance. Bravi Polski, Jacek and Sergio. <laughs> I also want to thank the makeup girls for the holes in my neck so they didn't have to make real ones uh, with the blood spewing. <laughs> and since we're talking about spewing, we left the bike spewing oil on the floor of my garden. <laughs> but at least it works. Now we put back the primary cover, making sure we align the gasket. Okay, we know that our lay are supposed to leak, but let's keep it under control, you know? Ora lei mi guarda in un modo che dice vittoria E io voglio tenerla più in alto di là del seguito della storia Once all the screws are nice and tight following a crisscross pattern Jacek opens the clutch inspection cover to fill up the primary case with primary transmission oil The manual states that it needs to be filled to the rim of the inspection cover while the bike is in vertical position And so we did We finished the assembly by putting back the shift pack and the footboard. And after a quick wipe, we are ready to check if we've got the power we seek. I stick the leads in the plug and I'm ready for the moment of truth. Fan 
fantastic! Just about 20 volts at idle speed and over 40 volts when accelerating. My baby girl is back to being self-sufficient and doesn't need a battery tender every time I park it. It took us about two hours to do all the project and we used whatever we had available and that's the true spirit of Roma Custom Bike. Well, it was a lot of fun to get back in the shop and do some actual bike work. <laughs> I want to thank Lemura for letting us take part in their video and for the music that you have heard all the way through this episode. If you liked it, you can find them on iTunes by following the links in the description. You'll be supporting real artists. A special thank goes to my dear, dear friend Luna. With her incredible talent, she has made us come out like super cool badasses. <laughs> and for that, we really, really, really love you. <laughs> Remember to subscribe to our channel, the new one as well, and share our videos and support the show. I'm Custom Chaz, and I'll see you in the next episode of Roma Custom Bike.